Hey everybody, it's Rob Vegas checking in from Melbourne, Australia, and we've got something a bit different today. Um, we are going to assemble a trip, and um, yeah, let's see how the outcome goes. Um, again, I'm not doing my big uh, fancy intros at the moment, so we're just going to keep it pretty simple, as we've already headed on over to Rob Vegas Technical HQ. Um, where all the good stuff is at, such as our precision tools and of course um, our work area uh, which is nicely lit up as always. Now we've been focusing on G.I. Joe's of course, the real American hero um, and if you know me, I love that stuff and um, I'm, I hope to be doing it a lot more um, and for a long time and because I've got a massive load of figures to assemble um but i've got something a bit left of santa here which of course is a toy produced from i believe it's lanyard or lanyard they produced um like a rival brand called the core um and i actually collected these for a while because back in the day like especially when these guys were on the pegs at our supermarkets and shops and toy stores and things here in Australia. Um, it was the early 90s and of course the original OG um, G.I. Joe figures had just become a bit ridiculous and crazy. That of course didn't stop me from collecting them but um, you know seeing these guys and they had like realistic well you know a bit more down-to-earth sort of gear um, like, you know, machine guns and stuff as opposed to just what was coming out at the time in the line. If you're familiar with the um, early 90s output from G.I. Joe. But um, I've got absolutely no idea what this figure's name is. Um, he's got a bit of a Australian look to him, a uh, bit of an Aussie look. So I'm just going to call him Cobber for the sake of this video. Um, if you know this guy's identity, um, you know, throw down in the comments below. Like, it's a cool figure, but of course you can see he's got a bit legless. So, we've got to fix that up and assemble this troop, regardless. So again, um, the core, they use the same construction as the Joes. So we unscrew that and hopefully it comes out. It comes out with a bit of goop. But that's all right, we can forgive that. Yeah, the main... Uh, so I reckon we replace the O-ring. There we go, his head's popped out. Um, we replace the O-ring and we fix the leg. And I'll show you how to do that in this very informative video. Um, his torso is having a bit of trouble popping apart. Not sure why that is. Um, we've got an arm out. we got another arm out, I hope. I hope that's, uh, it looks like I underestimated it. They made these guys tougher than I thought. If anyone knows anything about the history of this particular toy line and why it is so and, and everything, um, please, you know, hit it me up in the comments below. I'd be most fascinated. Um, so we've got the O-ring out. You can see that's not much chop. Um, so that's on its way out. So this guy was about to fall apart anyway um, as if he hadn't already fallen apart enough um, this is the offending inner thigh bit um, it hasn't broken and on the outer thigh where the screw goes in that peg is still in place so that's a good sign because um, I have seen some figures where that that peg um, there has broken off and literally if that breaks off from the outer thigh, um, we're in a well to hurt. Um, and, that, and that's gonna involve some glue and a few other things, which isn't much fun. So we've got some replacement screws here, courtesy of our good friends on eBay. Now, it's been a while since I've done this, so bear with me. Because um, ideally what we've got to do is fit the that ball bit on the metal ish piece into this socket 
like right there at the top well sorry at the top there so that has to fit in there and then this bit has to lock it in place so let's see how we go on this I'd imagine it's gonna be fidgety but that's part of the fun and again if anyone out there I, always, I say this on all my videos um, if anyone has any insight on to how they originally assembled these figures um, I'd be f absolutely fascinated because it must have been a mission and a half let alone assembling them here 30 years later so we've got those two bits clipped together you can see that ball joint is in there it's not going anywhere so that's a plus so we'll grab one of our replacement screws pop that on the inner thigh screwy whoops on the inner thigh screwy bits like so get our precision Rob Vegas Technological Center HQ screwdriver to just oh dear give that a tighten up and see if we can't get that damn leg back together otherwise he's gonna be hopping mad and he'll be about as useful as a one-legged man at an ass-kicking contest. Well, he was a one-legged man, but now he's a two-legged man. Let's see if we can't get these two legs onto a body. So it's the same as the G.I. Joe's. It's the exact same layout. We've got the old O-ring over the uh, hook bit there. So if we can get that on the go, that's a win. We've got the waist bit there. And again, everyone's favourite part of the video is where I sort of drag that through with a screwdriver. Get those guts in there. And of course we get the back piece. And you've seen this plenty of times, but we're doing it again. There we go. We've got that back piece hooked around the rubber O-ring which links the legs. Again, it's got these guys, same as G.I. Joe, they have the little pegs there which fit into these sort of guide, the guide holes in the front part of the body and you sort of smash them on there as best you can. And of course that brings us to our favorite bit of the assembly which is, oh, these, this guy's just ratcheted himself together pretty tight. So with old mate Cobber, let's see if we can't get his arms in. Well, it's like it's going to be a wrestling. Oh, oh, no, he popped out. Ah, the other arm fell out. That's annoying, but that's okay. We can roll with it. Oh, there we go. We've got ourselves a body. He was legless before, but now he's headless. So I'm not sure what that relates to. And bang, that head just pops right in there. That's fantastic. Love it. This um, screw that came out of the figure is rusty. And that's not going to cut it. So let's hook him up with a brand new back screw along with his brand new leg screw. Let's see if we can't get him rolling. Bang. So we're tightening that up. And that's fantastic. Absolutely magic. So look at that. Sadly with Cobber, um, I'm not sure if you can see on the video, but Cobber has had some unfortunate accidents in that he does not have his thumbs anymore. So uh, maybe that was a just something to do with these figures when they were manufactured I'm not sure um, but yeah poor old Cobber he's um, yeah missing his thumbs so we might have to get some blue tack or something like those tiny little rubber bands um, to get him holding his weapons again um, speaking of weapons that creates an interesting um, diversion so let's check that out Okay, so let's get rid of that rancid O-ring. That's in the bin. 
Um, now, like I said, I can't remember the exact accessories uh, Cobber came with here, um, but something he did come with, which is absolutely incredible in this day and age, is of course a little backpack. You can just sort of snug it in there. So he's got his backpack and he's pretty cool. Um, he's rocking it. But the craziest thing is his backpack is like a little pouch and in it, would you believe this? He comes with three boomerangs that slot into that backpack. That to me is absolutely insane. Um, but I love it. I think that is amazing. Like what a cool thing. Like, um, like have like you get an Aussie themed figure, you throw him down with some like it doesn't get much more Australiana than that. That is that's brilliant. Like what a cool thing to do. Like he's got his digger hat on and you know, full respect to all the Anzacs and all of our great service men and women. Um yeah, but what a crazy idea for a figure. Let's make an Aussie themed figure and give him boomerangs as the weapons. Um, I'm pretty sure, like I might be wrong here, he came with this sort of machine gun that came on a strap. He could have come with one of these. This was a pretty standard core issue machine gun. Um, and again, that was something I liked about this line of figures because uh, say for example, you'd get some GI Joes and they'd come with like the most ridiculous, ludicrous looking things that would, um, yeah, you'd be like, well, what's that for? But, um, at the time these guys came with some pretty realistic for the time and, you know, more down to earth gear, which was pretty cool, uh, for, in, you know, a lot of cases, but let's, let's get old Cobber, um, uh, G'd up. With his uh, machine gun there, he's got it strapped around him on his uh, shoulder, so he's he's loaded for bear. Sadly, he can't hold it at the moment because he's lacking thumbs. Um, but that's a story for another day. But um, what a cool dude! Like, I'm gonna tackle a few more of these core figures because they are um, and especially for the time, you know, they were like a, a if you're a bit perplexed by the by the GI Joes and things like that at the time um, these guys offered a, a bit more of a or an alternative you know um, and like yeah they they sort of went the G1 path with a lot of them um, you know they would recycle a lot of the parts and um, all of that but you know they'd give them a different color and and you know we'd get some crazy characters like Cobber here. Um, of course, anyone out there, if you know more about this toy line than I do, um, which you probably do, leave a comment um, below. Uh, like if you even know the real code name or character name for this particular guy, please let me know. As I said, I've just called him Cobber because that seems to suit it. Um, but yeah, we've been able to assemble this troop out of these random parts from the parts bin, out of the even more infinitely random stuff in the tubs that have come from the garage. So that's a win for everyone, and I'm really happy about that. And um, yeah, shout out to anyone out there who's collecting the core. Shout out to all the, the fans of G.I. Joe and the core. And um, yeah, what a cool little find. So yeah, get it on. And, um, yeah, let me know in the comments below. Like and subscribe, as always, if you haven't already. And, um, yeah, I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks, everybody.